what is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm gonna show you all how to animate any pictures ever so you'll need to download the application called ibis paint x and you'll have to open it and open a new project by importing a picture the picture that you want to animate so now you will go there and you'll have this message just click on cancel so now what we're trying to do is separate the subject from the background to animate them separately and to do that we'll have to duplicate the the picture to have a foreground and a background so what we're going to do is click up there on the square then click on copy then click on the square again and click on past then confirm as you can see we have two layers one for the foreground and one for the background now to start selecting click on the pen and click on the tool called lasso and don't forget to select additional selection now you can start contouring your character uh, with the selection tool if you don't really know how the application works let me know in the comments i might make a tutorial on it it depends but here for now just select your subject yeah i'll speed up the video because it's basically just selection and it's pretty simple to understand so yeah all right when you're done masking just click on this button right there to invert the selection area now you can go on the layers and hide the background just by clicking on the eye now what you're gonna have to do is click on the square up there and click on cut and this will basically cut the background from our subject now click on the square with the line in the middle to deselect the selection now as you can see we got we got imperfection so now just pick an eraser and just erase every imperfection to make the mask as smooth as possible and once you're done what we're going to do is remove the imperfection inside the mask like as you can see we have a marvel banner so what you're gonna do is select the special tool select it and click right there to have more options and this menu will show up just click on copy pen fixed and this will allow us to remove this banner or any kind of imperfection in your picture so now click on the square right there and click on the select option and just start painting over it and do it until you're happy with your result once you're done you can go back on the lasso tool and deselect the selection we could stop there but remember we want the end to be moving in our animation so what we're gonna do is select the arm and it is the same process as we did for the whole entire body so you should be able to do it once the arm is finally selected click on the square and click on cut now deselect and go on the square again and click on copy this allowed us to separate the arm from the body and having it on a different layer so as you can see there's some cuts on the arm and for the animation when you're gonna start moving the, the arm around we will actually see the cuts so what we're gonna do is reconstruct the missing part of the arm just by simply drawing it so now select the brush tool and start color picking by holding your finger on the screen and once you find your color just start drawing something that looks like an arm and just color pick again do the same for the shading it's really simple actually it's not i'm not asking you to be an artist it's just putting colors into place and make it look like an arm and repeat the process until you're happy with the result and don't forget that you can do this with any parts of the body that you want to animate it's not even obligated to be a body part it can be a flower or whatever sometimes it will require to to do some adjustments like i'm doing right now and other times the original picture is good enough to start animating right away once you're done with the drawing just pick the tool called smudge 
and start smearing the thing up a little bit to make it a bit smoother great so now what we're gonna do is open the layer section and just put the arm layer down underneath the, the body layer so that the the, the draw, extra drawing that we made doesn't overlap with the original picture okay so now what we're gonna do is save the pictures separately the arms and the body separately so to save the body separately from the arm you're gonna simply hide the arm layer by clicking on the high icon and now click on the arrow right there and click on save as transparent png make sure you always save uh, in png format to have a transparent background so now what we're gonna do is isolate the background and remove the subject from the background so you're gonna go on google and search for cleanup.picture you'll come across this website and what you're gonna do is click on tap here to load your picture and just import the picture of your choice now click on continue with sd and now what you're gonna do is simply draw over the subject to delete it basically so what i suggest you is to start with the little parts like the legs the banner and once you're done drawing just click on clean to remove the parts that you draw over and i'll do the other leg the arm then i'll click on clean then it will remove it and just do it for the whole body until you have a clean plate now all you have to do is save it and put it on highlight motion to finalize the animation once you're done just click on the save button up there and what you're gonna do now is open highlight motion this will be the start of the animation so what you're gonna do is open a new project and choose a dimension that fits the picture that you want to animate for me it will be 9 by 16 so now just import all of your pictures now that you're done importing just make sure that your pictures are long enough to make an animation with them so first i'll start by animating the arm swinging but as you can see the rotation isn't really working the way i want it to work so to fix this we're gonna click on this then we're gonna put the pin right where we want the the rotation to follow so if we try to rotate it it will just like pin right on the shoulder and start rotating like a real arm so now we can start the animation and add some keyframes to change the rotation value and to make an animation now what i'm doing is just adding a bunch of keyframes and just changing the rotation values between these keyframes to make an animation so to finish it up i just add the graph uh, I'll add the fourth graph to make a smoother transition between the keyframes and this is how it's supposed to look like so once you're done just click on the gear tool up there and click on background and put it green so that you can export it and remove the background later on now open a new project now pick the same dimension that you took to make the character animation. Now what you're gonna have to do is import your background inside the project, make it fit inside the composition. Now import the animation that we made earlier and just remove the, the green screen obviously to reveal the background behind. Now to achieve a parallax effect, what you're gonna do is pick your background and click on move and transform select the z option and scroll it all the way up to make the picture move backwards into a 3d space now once you you've put it backwards into the 3d space just scale it up to make it fit inside the composition now what we're gonna do is select the subject go on move and transform select the z position option 
but this time just slightly put the z option up and like we did before just scale the subject back up to the main composition now what we're going to do is click on the plus then go on object then click on null now you'll have a null appearing on your project now what you're going to do is select the layer example the background click on the button up there and click on null one now do the same for all of your other video and picture layers and this will allow the null to control a, a sort of 3d camera and this will allow us to have a parallax effect so now click on move and transform and just move around and see by yourself that we have this parallax effect that we we're all looking for when we're making an animated picture so now what we're gonna do is go in the background select it add a new effect and add tiles and select the mirror option this will allow us to have a proper background without cutting edges now do the same for the subject go ahead add a new effect tiles and select mirror and we're having something clean now the animating process can actually start we can rotate move scale and transform but be careful if you want to make a zoom inside the 3d space do not do not make the mistake of going to the scale option and try to scale it up it will only look like a 2d basic scale you know what i'm saying so what you want to do is go ahead in the position option and click on the z option and if you want to make a zoom just scroll the z option all the way up this will make a 3d effect this will be cleaner and more professional if i can say it like that so now what you're gonna do is basically just place your keyframes uh on your timeline and just start animating for me i'll just start with a simple uh, simple zoom with a big shot of the background then it will reveal the, the subject like this and yeah basically just make some adjustments just make some camera movements it's basically all up to you um you can add some effects on the background also if you want to you can add some extra stuff like particle effects but yeah it's all up to you from now from now on and just have fun with your animation do what you like and just be creative with it and always when you're done just add your keyframes i suggest you to add the fourth keyframe set for a smoother transition between the keyframes and yeah that's just a suggestion now as you can see the animation is clean movements are smooth but if you want to add more movements and more like spiciness to the animation i suggest you to go and select the null add a new effect and go ahead on move and transform and select auto shakes now what you're gonna do is just play around with the setting of the frequency and the magnitude just find something that you like and this will add a shake to your camera and make the animation a little bit more realistic and i think it adds something to the overall feel of the animation so yeah so now that the big port is done you can have fun with your animation add some color correction add some effects on the background you could even add some some i mean some overlays on your animation you could do whatever you want honestly so yeah that was basically how i did my animations so if the video was helpful don't forget to leave a like leave a comment don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel follow my instagram and also if you want to cut my vfx pack for i like motion users don't hesitate to and see you in the next video